of what is incorporation. We have already learned. <coughs> we have already learned in law company law in semester one and semester two. That company when it got registered with registrar of companies, that is ROC, it gets the incorporation status. Before registration, any company is not getting incorporation certificate. Once you get the incorporation certificate, the company is registered one. So suppose I give you an example. Suppose I am running a small business of selling clothes. I am a sole trader. Now I wish the same business should be converted into company. So for that, I start the process of registering the company. That process takes some time. It is not like that. I am starting this process today and tomorrow the company is registered. No, it may take two months, three months, four months, five months. So from the so from the starting end of process, then you get the incorporation and then comes your year. It is not necessary that every new business will start from first April or first January. This process can be done during the any period of time. Suppose I have registered my company on first November. I got first November 2020. This is my incorporation date. I started the process from first August. 2020. This is the starting date. This is the incorporation date. And my and my business year, that is financial year, will be ending on 31st March 2021. So here I have August, then September, October. This is November. December, Jan, Feb, and this is March. From this date onwards, the my business is registered. So prior to all the business, prior to that you get before November, everything will come to profit before prior information. This is prior and after. So before November, this is my pre-incorporation period for pre or prior. Charging or dividing the cross profit accordingly. If it is 
question anything is not specified of any item then the standard ratio value for gross profit we have to use sales and then we will less so that it will be easy for you See, for gross profit, see, I am writing an equal list, but if assessment some specifications are given, then we have to follow that. If no specifications are given, then we follow the standard ratio. So, for gross profit, we will be following sales ratio generally. You two have to make this note in your note. For revenue income, major revenue income. But the salary given prior to the corporation will be 
information period and salary given after post information period will be treated under post information period. So basically we are saying there is exercise on this sums to know the exact figure before the information and to know the profit or loss after information. Because in same financial year these, these things are done. And it is not necessary that you should always know post capital or your new business will be starting from the same day. No, not possible. So these things are done. Copy down this thing in your notebook. Now we are going to start with our sum on exercise sum 18.1, page number 378 of the textbook. Find out the profit prior to and after information of H limited from the following information for the year ending on 31st March 2002. How much dividend can the company declare to the shareholders? This is the given question to you. This sum covers maximum aspects. So all this sums are only with me. <coughs> so you will get a better idea. Let me first read this question. Find out the profit prior to and after incorporation. <coughs> One minute. <coughs> Find out the profit prior to and after information of X limited from the following information for the year ending on 31st March 2002. How much dividend can the company declare to shareholders? How much dividend can they declare? Now, the date of purchase of business. Date of purchase. This is our working note number 1. Date of purchase 
डेट ऑफ इमरेशन
so now we have to make them into pairs so what for now now we have to have october november december six six common so we can get four six nine now we have december jan jan feb and feb march see here december and jan we have common three three right so we can make december jan and feb together it's going to be two three two but for feb march it is three is two two but for feb march it is three is two two so two is two three is two two so what we are doing here three is two two for feb march we are doing common so multiply with three and then multiply with two so what we are doing here six Nine, six. Here, what we are doing here is to do six, four. So here in December, Jan, Feb, March, the ratio will be what? December, Jan, Feb, March. Here it is going to be six, nine, six, six, four. Six, six, common. We can do. So here it will be six nine six four six nine six four. Here it is four six nine. See here four six nine six nine. Now we have to make common to December so that we can get the proportion. Multiply with six. Here multiply with nine. So four six are twenty four. Six six are thirty six. Nine six are fifty four. Six nines are again fifty four. Nine nines are eighty one. Six nines are again fifty four. Four nines are thirty six. So now everything is in parity. So the final ratio will be October, November, December, January, February, March. The final thing is twenty four, thirty six. Fifty four is common in December. So eighty one. Fifty-four and thirty-six. Now, our this is going to be our pre-period October number, and December, January, March is going to be our post. This is three. This is post. Twenty-four plus thirty-six comes thirty sixty. Fifty-four plus eighty-one. Sorry. Fifty-four plus eighty-one. Fifty-five. One thirty-five. One thirty-five and ninety. See fifty-four plus eighty-one plus fifty-four plus thirty-six. Five nine six fifteen. One year six plus eight fourteen. Five nine ninety plus three two twenty-five. The total comes two twenty-five. So our sales is sixty to two twenty-five. But they both are divisible by fifteen. And fifteen, fifteen sir. The ratio comes four is to fifteen. So finally, the sales ratio is four is to fifteen. What we have done is we have taken the LCM and we combined everything and we came to a conclusion of four is to fifteen. Here it is also four is to fifteen. I hope you are clear with this. We will continue the sum in next video. Till then, goodbye.